this is Collection Master by Nordica. The link to find this program will be located on the left, the right hand side rather of your screen if you're on the actual video page on YouTube. Um, this is a program that is good for any type of collection. So if you collect more than model horses, you can also add um, dolls, postcards, whatever type of collection you'd like to add in addition to your models. Um, this, collect this is a great program if you are somebody who does well with organizing online or on your computer. And it's also great for paper, and I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, all of these have been customized by me. It's very easy to add your own collection by clicking this button and filling out all the information. And this is if you want to click this button to um, add a particular, you know, one item. So here I've listed things in a way that would be easier for me. I did some of them by mediums, artist resins, China's custom glazes, etc. And I've also organized them um, by congas, um, you know, quarter horses, Mustang foals, etc. Connoisseur models, as well as Peterstone regular and um, special run models. So um, clicking on the artist resins here. Um, this is a list of some of my artist resins that I've put on the program and I did it by the mold name instead of my show name. Um, here is um, one of my models. My computer's being a little slow. There it is. Um, and these are also customized by me. Um, you can add your own on the sides here. It does not have to be the same as how I did, but this is just was easier for me to do. So I have the molds name, um, again the name that I chose to put here, um, the horse's show name, the year the model was painted, um, the scale, the sculptor, the painter, color, breed, the gender, and I also have my region 10 number here. Um, you add your photographs by clicking new here and then finding the um, image on your computer. You can add more than one image if you choose to. Um, there's some tabs here at the bottom that you can use for adding information. And there's a general tab here of, you know, how much I pay, the current value when I purchase the model. You can add the source of who you bought the model from, um, where the um, model is located. You can add additional information with values. You can add links here. Um, I also chose in my note section to add some of the information about if it was NAN qualified, if it had received any honors, champions, reserve champions, etc. And then you can see a, a closer image um, here. Um, you can also do this, you can shrink these so it's easier to see, and you can do this for other items. Uh, let's see, I got my Peter Stone uh, special runs and tests here. Bear with me for a minute, my computer is. Um, protesting. There we go. Um, so here we have some of my models um, here and once again I have them listed by this is this time by the Peter Stone name. Um, so I have once again all of my information here. Um, there's a great feature if you like to deal with paper and you don't want to have everything on the computer which is also it's you know you always should back everything up and especially in paper form you can do a current item report um, which would be for just this one horse here and you can print all this out and it will be all your horses information here um, and even I've even written you know where I got the information from which was on the stone horse reference site so this can be printed out and can be put in a binder you can also do reports for a current collection. So this would be for the whole traditional stone special run test, all of my information here. That can be printed out. Um, you can do a detailed report and have everything listed here. And you can print all of this out and you can do an all collections report. And this is everything. These are scary numbers here. We won't show you that. Um, but that's all of your collections, all the values, um, how many models are listed in each collection, um, etc. So you can print all that information out and put it in your binder. Um, when you're organizing with your, with these here, you can also, um, like I did here with OF China, I've broken it up where I have 
all of my other Chinas and then I have my Hagen Renacres here on the side so that I can click on these guys and all the information for these models is right here. This is a wonderful program. It runs about $40. Um, if you download it and just save it on your computer as is, of course, make a backup disk, or you can have them send you a CD for a few dollars more. Um, like I said, you can do this for more than just um, model horses. You can add other collections in here as well. Um, and it's a great, easy way to have everything there. Photographs, um, information about who painted the model, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And you can put all this in a binder. You can also make a backup of everything here. This is the pictures, all the information in case you ever have a problem with your computer. You can have this information backed up on CD. Reload the, the software on your computer or another computer and all this information will be saved. So this is just um, one way that you can um, organize your collection um, through software. Again, it's an inexpensive program and it's very easy to use.